Hey guys, Alien Puppy here. Today we're going to interpret fractions and solve problems whose answers are fractions or mixed numbers. Woo! I'll start us off. Do you know how to write the fraction one-third using division? You read it from the top down. So this would be one divided by three. If I have three cookie cakes and I want to give an equal amount to four friends, it would be three divided by four. But I could write it as a fraction. Let me show you. I cut the cookie cakes up and give each friend a piece from each. And voila, they all ended up with three-fourths of one cookie cake. Be careful, the order's important. You read the fractions from top to bottom. So eight fifths would be eight divided by five, but five divided by eight would be five eighths. Hey, little dude. In my last rocket race at Galactic Race Arena, it took me 49 seconds to run four laps. If each lap took me the same amount of time, between what two whole numbers is my time for one lap? Well, Star Racer, this is 49 divided by 4. So I'm going to think. I know that 4 times 12 is 48. So that's close. And 4 times 13 would be 52. 49's in the middle somewhere. So it took you between 12 and 13 seconds. That's right, little dude. Can you tell me exactly how long it took? Okay. So it was 49 divided by 4. I use something called ice cream cone division to help me remember that the 49 goes in the freezer underneath here. Now I'll divide. And instead of writing remainder 1, I'm going to write it like a fraction. My remainder goes on top and the number I'm dividing by goes on bottom. So I keep the same denominator. So it took you exactly 12 and a 4 seconds to drive one lap. Hey, dude, you're right. Hello, alien puppy. I have a bag of space oats that contains 45 cups of feed, and I want to use the whole bag and give each of my six alien horses the same amount. Between what two whole numbers of cups of space oats should I feed each horse? Well, alien knight, I'm pretty good with fractions and division. This would be 45 divided by 6. And so I know that 6 times 7 is 42, and 6 times 8 is 48. So each horse gets between 7 and 8 cups. That's right. Can you tell me exactly how much each one should get? Sure. It's 45 divided by 6. I use my ice cream cone division to remember how to rewrite it. The ice cream goes in the freezer. So that would be 7. 7 times 6 is 42. And I'm going to write my remainder as a fraction. So my remainder goes on top and the number I'm dividing by goes on bottom. So each one gets 7 and 3 6 cups. That's right. However, we can take the fraction 3 6 and simplify it. And get a half. So I will give each one seven and a half cups of feet. Okay, kids, it's your turn to have some fun.